First game of the series in San Antonio, and today we're joined by the hitting coach for the Rough Riders, Jason Hart. And Jason, yesterday you guys explode for seven runs and really get the bats going. That's a nice way to leave a series after the first three games when uh, things were really tough to get against that Corpus pitching staff. It's a tough place to play, man. We're happy to go in there and, you know, split with them. They play good at home. Um, they pitch tough. Uh, they have a couple good guys that have good sinkers that keep the ball down and, you know, hitting their spots pretty well. The guys competed. They didn't give up. Um, I really like this this young group of hitters we have and the aggression. And they go up there and they, they, they attack. And, uh, you know, even though they were guys, pitchers were hitting their spots, we were still attacking. We didn't let up. And we came through that last game. Odubel Herrera had a terrific game, five for five, came through with the double late as well. It wasn't just all singles. Uh, what have you seen from o Odubel? I know you've worked with him before about the type of hitter he is and the adjustment process that he's going through in double A. He's just got a great set of hands and, you know, good eyes. And, you know, we knew that Odubel's capable. Who, who knows what he's capable of? That five-hit game didn't surprise me. I saw him get four a couple times in A ball when I coached him. Um, just, you know, keeping him keeping him with staying within himself you know sometimes you know I do know Duba pretty well and I know sometimes he tries to do a little too much but when he just lets his hands work he hits the ball hard all over the field. Hanser Alberto is another guy who's come around and uh, seemingly after the the homestand really did not perform as much but he's done uh, did, done well over the last couple of games and uh, is starting to you know get some extra base hits. He had a triple in the last game of the homestand, a double the other day, and uh, you know he's at the other end of the order most of the time, batting in the number eight or nine spot, but he's starting to come around as well. I've liked his at-bats from day one of the season. Um, really competitive at the plate. He's also got great, great hand-eye coordination. The key for, for Hanser is to swing at good pitches. He's, his hands and eyes are so good that he will put bad pitches in play, and that's when he gets in trouble. So he locks in his zone. Um, it's, you know, I expect to see a lot of good good things coming out of his bat, too. Yeah, that's the one thing that I'd heard about him and seen, that he is able to get his bat on so much. It's just a matter of finding good pitches to get his bat on so he can make a good contact, not just weak contact, for the sake of making contact. Yeah, and that's that's going to come from maturity. And, you know, this level you really see tend to see guys starting to mature as hitters. And, you know, he's gonna he's gonna, he's got a long season ahead of him, a lot of time to really work on that zone and, you know, hopefully – you know, by the end of the year, he's a better hitter than the beginning. We're here with hitting coach Jason Hart, uh, Jared Hoying, another big game yesterday. And uh, Jared, you look at his numbers, the start of the season, he's in the top 10 in batting, tied for the league lead in home runs. He's leading the league in runs batted in. He made a radical change with his stance, going from more upright to down low. Explain a little bit the philosophy behind that change and what he has tried to work on with you to try and get a little bit more consistent because I know that was a, an end goal for him. You know, he's just trying to get into that strong hitting position more consistently. So if, you know, by spreading him out a little bit, getting him, you know, getting him into the end of those legs a little more, it's a smaller move and it's a little easier to get there consistently. His hands has always been really strong. He's always had the pop. It's just getting him into that position and to, uh, you know, attack the baseball more consistently. He mentioned to me during batting practice, it seems like uh, his home runs, especially the one yesterday, have been going a lot higher vertically, whereas last year a lot of his home runs would be line shots out. Do you think that's a result of maybe uh, that lower set, his swing generating more loft? You know, maybe, is, you know, being a little bit lower, it's all, it all has to do with his hands. Right now his hands are working really good. When he was taller, he tend to have a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more body in his swing. So his trigger word for this year is hands and hands and hands. That's what we're going to talk about with him and, and let that lower half stay strong and you know be a small move and just let him use his hands. Ryan Strasburg, another player who's back from last season. Uh, Ryan has talked about wanting to add the walk element to his game a little bit more than he has in seasons past. He's never really been a big walk guy, but with his speed, it's obviously a, a great weapon if you can get on base with a walk. It's just as good of a single or, in some cases, a double because of his speed. How does that sometimes mesh or contradict a little bit of what your philosophy and what the organization's philosophy is with the players at this level? And that's be really, really aggressive and you know be always on attack. How do you... Uh, mix those two seemingly contradictory uh, strategies with taking walks and being aggressive. Well, Strauss is doing a lot better job with his head this year. And uh, last year, he, he couldn't lay off those pitches because his head was moving quite a bit. 
he's really jumping at the ball this year. He's really working on staying behind the ball, seeing it better, seeing it longer. Um, and the walks are going to come. You know, he's had he has more at bats than these younger guys. He's kind of you know he's got he's still aggressive, but he's going to be aggressive in his zone. And to me, I'm he looks better than I've ever seen him. Even though you know whatever his numbers are, as a hitting coach, I couldn't be happier with his progression. And also as a hitting coach, this is your second year at this level. Uh, is it a comfort level for you knowing a lot of these guys at the same level, working with them again, and uh, just knowing what to be able to tell the new hitters what to expect at this level is a little bit more comfortable for you? You know, I, I feel very fortunate, you know, having a couple of the core guys back from last year, you know, just to kind of mature and get better. And then also the young group that come up, I've gotten a chance to work with, you know, almost everybody on the team. So I feel real comfortable. I, you know, I don't, I've already kind of, you know, got the respect. You know, and it's not a slow start. I can, I can coach right off the bat. You know, and and I really like all these guys. It's a good group. Like I said, they're young, they're aggressive, and they're fun to work with. Jason Hart, Rough Riders hitting coach. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. We're back with more of our pregame shows. We get ready for the missions here at 7:05 tonight. Right after this on the Rough Riders Baseball Network.